Okay, before I start today's Retrobat and Atari Lynx setup guide for a Windows PC, if you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm always really appreciative of. So first things first, if you're new to my channel, I've got a massive playlist full of Retrobat goodness, as well as other front-end systems. But anyways, we're doing Retrobat and the Atari Lynx. So what was the Atari Lynx? It competed against the uh, Nintendo Game Boy, OG, the original Game Boy, as well as Sega's portable Sega Game Gear. Uh, the Lynx kind of failed in many ways for various reasons, but I won't go into technicalities over that. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm running the latest Retrobat stable. So I'm going to right click on the shortcut, just go to open file location, and we're going to go into the BIOS folder. Inside the BIOS folder, we're going to need a BIOS file. This is linksboot.img. You're just going to paste that inside there. It doesn't go inside any of the folders. And next thing we're going to do is go down to the ROMs folder. And in here, we're going to find Lynx. So this isn't listed as Atari Lynx. It's simply just Lynx. In my Lynx folder here, I've got a few different games. And these are in .lnx file extension or format. So I got Batman Returns, which is obviously which the Atari Lynx was sold with at the time with his packing game, Double Dragon, and Gates of Zenicon. So that's about it. What we're going to do next then is open up Retrobat. Okay, if you've done this correctly, you should see Atari Lynx appear. So if we go inside of Atari Lynx, we're going to see our games in here. So first thing we need to do really is scrape some artwork. If you press start button on your controller, just go to scrape, scraper settings, and make sure at the bottom your username and password is in there. And of course you need screen scraper account to scrape this using the screen scraper database. Screen scraper is absolutely free. Under systems included, just make sure Lynx is checked and we're going to scrape. Okay, scrape and finish, update game list. Let's go up to game settings, update game list, and yes. Okay, so we got artwork and we got some preview videos. So it doesn't look the greatest, so what I'm going to do is just download a new theme. So updates and downloads, themes, and I think I'm going to go for Alec for NX install, and we're just going to wait for this one to download and extract. Okay, so if we press B to come out, what we're going to do is just quickly apply the new theme. So theme set, Alec for NX, back, and here we go. If I go into links now, that looks a lot better. Okay, so other things we can download to enhance how the links games look is again in main menu by pressing start, go to updates and downloads. And what we're going to do from here is go to the bezel project. I've already downloaded and installed this. All you need to do is press A button on this to download it and it will install automatically. And that's going to give us some very cool bezels to apply. If we come out of here then, let's actually take a look at our options. So we're going to start off with Batman Returns. If I press select on my controller, it brings up view options. Advanced system options. Emulators we got for this is going to be using Menafin Lynx, which is a retro core. Remember that we're starting from auto. Retrobat takes the next option down. We also got another retro core here, handy. And we can also download Menafin Lynx as well as Bizzle. But we're going to keep this on auto for now. And I'm going to boot it up with all of the settings as default. See how this looks. Okay, so as you can see, we got a really nice decoration going on here just now. Thank <laughs> you. 
So if I just use my hotkeys to come out of that, as we can see, it's very pixelated. I actually wanted this system for Batman Returns. When I used to buy the Ancestral Trail magazine back in the day, the Atari links with Batman Returns was always advertised in that magazine at the time. So if I go to Advanced System Options, in fact, what we can do is apply video settings per game. If I just come out of there and hold down the A button, this is going to open up options for Batman Returns and Batman Returns only. So from here, if I go to Advanced Game Options, I can then apply different video settings for Batman Returns and nothing else. So anyways, shader set. We got various different shaders just here. Uh, maybe we could try handheld. And game aspect ratio, I seriously suggest leaving this to auto 4x3. If you were to put this on full or 16x9, the most popular aspect ratios, this game is going to look ridiculously overstretched. And it looks pretty pixelated as it is. We also got integer scaling. I'm going to turn this one on like I've already done before this video. Vertical sync, I'm going to turn this yes to avoid screen tear. Not that we're going to see much screen tear with Atari Lynx games, but nevertheless. If we go down to visual rendering, video filters, we got some more filters just here so we can upscale things. Now the problem is with upscaling, old systems like this sat there pixelated enough and by upscaling, it's going to define those pixels even further. So it's entirely up to you. Uh, we can apply something like scan line to this to give it a little bit of a scan line. <laughs> we also got smooth gain by linear filter. If I turn this one on, uh, other things we got is drivers. Now, whilst I'm in drivers, we go into video. If you're facing a black screen and you can't play anything, it's very likely the video back end. You need to change this over to maybe Vulkan or DirectX. So that's a handy little tip for those of you who's not sure what's going on with a black screen. We also got controllers. Now, mine's working fine, but if you get any issues where your controller isn't working, then we got D input, X input. Okay, so let's open up Batman Returns with these new video settings. So as you can see, I've got a very nice looking scan line on that. It looks a little bit better. So that game is still a very tough game, it really is. So anyways, that's the video settings applied to that with scan lines and everything else are applied. As you can see, it looks a little bit better. We can also take away the decoration if you really want to. I'm going to show you how to do this with the Double Dragon game. Again, if I press A on the game title, it's going to bring up the options only for this game, Double Dragon. So advanced game options. If we go to decorations, we got the bezel project at the bottom. We also got default unglazed. If I was to turn this off and put none, and let's just show you an example of this looking full screen. If I go to aspect ratio, and let's try this on full just to test this. Uh, vertical sync, we're gonna put to yes, and we're gonna leave everything else as it is. Open up double dragon. So as you can see with that, almost unplayable. So really, I think by the looks of it, the best option is, is to actually put the decoration to either bezel project or default unglazed. And I personally think the game benefits a lot with scan lines. So under shader set, we can apply scan lines here. And if we also go down to visual rendering, just remember to put scan lines on just here as well. And smooth games, we want that on so it's not so pixelated. And we also want to change the aspect ratio of this back to 4x3. So just put this on auto.
So as you can see, that looks miles better. And finally, we got the Gates of Zendikon. Now, I've never played this game. So I'm not sure if it's just me, but I do think it looks so much better with scan lines on. Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about that. So for this, I'm going to just apply scan lines again. And that's it for today's Retro Battle of Toy Link setup, guys. So, as we've seen in the video, most definitely, in my opinion, put scan lines on and don't go full screen as you've seen how bad that looks. Just make sure your decorations is applied, and I think you can have some good fun with this. So, anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also, join me on social media I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I'm going to leave a link in my description for this video direct to my Retrobat playlist. And it's quite likely I've already covered it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay retro.